I'm Ty Pennington, and this season, we're doing things a little differently. Five Cent Michael Paul exhibit our newest designer, Jillian Harris, up ahead to help with a huge surprise. This week, we're helping a unique kind of family. We got a special appeal from a group of truly amazing guys who want to give a group of very special girls the same opportunities they've had. And it all starts right now. <laughs> a big surprise to pull off, and I need your help to do it. You guys with me? Yeah! Well, get on the bus! Come on! Oh, All right, so you guys know why we're here, right? Yeah! But this week, it's about the girls, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Now, why is that? They deserve the same opportunities that we do. Because we've seen what it's done in our lives, and we know what it can do in someone else's life. So let's take a look at your nomination tape that got us here. Hi, ABC. Welcome to Boys Hope, Girls Hope of Baltimore. Boys Hope, Girls Hope started in 1977. It's 33 houses in 17 different cities throughout the country. The program is dedicated to identifying students, we call them scholars, from the city who show great academic prowess but just don't have the support. We got evicted from our house and then I ended up living in this house full of crackheads and people using drugs and had to sleep on the couch. My mother had uh, drug problems. I was attending a school, uh, but it wasn't necessarily on a daily basis. Baltimore statistically is in the top five in terms of crime. Our scholars come from uh, those specific neighborhoods. And out of these areas, we're looking for creating opportunities uh, for youth to say, in spite of their situations, um, they will rise above. When they move into Boys Hope, it provides them a safe home, the quality education, wonderful mentors and role models in their lives. We uh, eat dinner together, we play basketball. It's just like a family here. You know, all you need to worry about is your grades and how you're going to succeed. In 2002, the boys' home was started, and there was talk of the girls' home right away. It hasn't happened. We purchased this lot four years ago, and we have not raised enough money yet to have a home. Having a girls' hope in Baltimore will mean a tremendous amount because girls here struggled, and getting them into a structured environment will help them in the long run. Girls Hope is a chance for me to become whoever I want to be when I get older. ABC, would you please come to Baltimore to build a girl's home? Because it will give them something to hope for, because Boys Hope gave hope to us. thought they were just there for a show about kids who do great things. Little did they know that we're rolling up in our new blingin' bus. All right, so tell me about the organization. Um, just because you're born into a situation doesn't mean that you shouldn't have the same opportunities as everybody else. This is what Girls Hope, Boys Hope does. It gives you that chance to grow and be whoever it is that you want to be. Let me get this straight. The boys have a facility, the girls don't. Absolutely, we are a residential facility for boys, and right now we have a non-residential program for girls in the hopes that one day we do have a residence. How about those hopes coming true? It's, yeah. Yeah, no, it really is. Take a look down that way. Oh my god. Do you guys see this? to hope, to believe in themselves, to want a different future, to know a different future. 
this week, we're not building a house for just one family. What we're really building is a home away from home for seven girls and the staff that works at Girls Hope. This is a door that will open opportunities for these girls, and it will open doors for other girls to come through as well. We bought this lot about a year and a half ago, right before the economy hit. So our chances of fundraising, enough money to, to build a home just crashed, and this is what it's been. Just a lot that we drive past and say, oh, that girl's home will be there one day. I mean, this seems like it's a pretty good neighborhood. It's a great but neighborhood. I went to Boys Hope to get some ideas on what we can sort of bring over to Girls Hope. So this is really sort of like a home away from home. So our meals cooked here and everything, too? Every yeah. night, every night. And so this is the first time I've seen this. This is the Boys Hope Girls Hope logo. So, okay. like, so what is that? That's like a door? That's a door. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Door is actually representing in terms of opening for hope and opportunity. Percentage-wise, how many, how many of the boys that come through here end up going to college? 100%. A hundred percent of the boys that complete the Boys Hope program are in college. Wow. Yeah. Pretty awesome. This is my room. So this week, these rooms have to house many, many girls coming through Girls Hope. So it makes it a little bit more difficult because you want these rooms that will continue to inspire kids after these kids have left. After I get out of college, I want to start my own restaurant. Oh my gosh. Did she cook around the house much? Yes, she yeah. started, but when her father passed, she kind of stopped for a while. Do you think by you being able to go to Girls Hope that you'll be able to help neighborhoods just like this? Yep. Yes. Maybe maybe draw new designs on the buildings. Does that interest you? Yeah. This yeah. opportunity for Shaolin is a blessing. It means a better chance for her than what I had when I was young. It's an opportunity for her to go forward and do positive things. So I think Girls Hope, here she comes. Well, I just want to say, girls, we are so excited about giving you guys a, a new home away from home. And I'm sure you're pretty excited to see what this empty lot's going to look like in seven days. And I know you guys are really invested in this as well. I mean, you guys are what the program is based on. Christy, girls, you're going on vacation to Hollywood, California! <laughs> Chris, what happened last night? Where are we at? We dug a foundation last night. Okay. This house is about 85% modular build. So, and they're just going to pour the slab, and then we'll start swinging the house. Electrical's done. That's crazy. Bases are insulated. I feel like I could get in there. All the priming's done. So what? we just come in, we add our colors, they put them all together. I want to show you guys something, sort of the, the plan of what we're trying to do here. The house is going to be sort of like old Baltimore architecture meets the future. Michael, I think you should take the basement, okay. own that fun, fun, games, excitement, a place where they can really have fun. All I right? like that. I'll take the main floor, so the kitchen, the library, the, the great hall. Now, Jillian, I think you should really focus on the bedrooms. Okay. Ollie, exhibit, you guys are going to be helping out in okay. bedrooms, sure. downstairs, middle area, the whole nine yards. I can take a bedroom, too, if you need it. Actually, maybe you should. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll do a bedroom as well. Sounds good. So when I went into Boys Hope with you guys, uh, the first thing I saw was this gigantic table. It really struck me as not only a place to share meals, but obviously you do your homework, but it, it's like a meeting place, right? And it's, it's where you guys sort of have your brotherhood. So I decided, OK, the girls at Girls Hope would also need a table like that where they could be unified in their sisterhood. So do me a favor, step out in the street here for a second. We'll get an idea of what we're looking at. Ty asked us to help him build the table. And we all looked at each other like, what do you mean, build the table? OK, do me a favor, just lie down. Uh, perfect. There you go, right there. And so he had us get down on the ground, and it was 24 feet long. And we were like, 24 feet long? Are you serious? You guys start to get an idea of how big this table's going to be. Wow. I think a table's going to represent the exact same thing our table at the boys' house represents. It basically represents family and unity. What do you wow. think? Yeah. I think that's, that's amazing. <laughs>